Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Damron. We are playing Sniper Elite 5. We are in Mission 2, Occupied Residence, in our complete collectible guide. We're getting all the documents, personal letters, work benches, dead eye targets, and hidden items all in one playthrough so you can get all the achievements related to those collectibles. So let's go ahead and get started with the second mission in the game, Occupied Residence. The first thing that we're going to be getting is a classified document. So um, you're going to be kind of spawning in the south section. But what we want to do is we want to head to the eastern side of the map so you can see where I am right here this is actually on the east side of a river uh, my cursor is kind of over this river but if you zoom in a little bit there's a small kind of set of paths up here where I'm at and there's a tiny little building uh, that's just to my east so again just go to where I am on the map I'll put the marker here right where the collectible is uh, but essentially just go here you're gonna have to kill some soldiers um, from this area but you can see I'm on the east side of this river that's kind of flowing through this area and if you kind of go up on this small little hill that overlooks it you'll see a small shack and a bunch of kind of weapon crates on top of one of the crates is our next collectible Friedrich Kumler Moving on, we're going to continue kind of north up the path. And again, we're all the way on the east side, kind of in the middle area of the map. There's this little compound that's got this L-shaped building and then a more horizontal building right here. So head over there, clear out the enemies or kind of stealthily do this, whichever you like. But essentially, we're going to head into the longitudinal building and go inside there. And we're going to find our next classified document sitting on this table here. Now, I will mention at this point there are duplicates of these classified documents in other areas of the map, but I'm going to show you kind of the most efficient way to get them. I'm not going to show you all the locations of the duplicates. So from that classified document, we're going to get our next workbench so you can just kind of go into the building. This will be locked. Again, you can get the keys from officers that you kill, or if you have a satchel charge, you can just blow up that door and walk in and obviously interact with these workbenches to unlock that. Still in this same armory, just kind of on the opposite side of the workbench, you'll find another table with our next classified document sitting on the table here. Alright, so we're just going to kind of go north of that just a little bit. So that's the building where the workbench was and we're just like literally right north of that on the main road that's kind of going east to west in this area. And if you look kind of northwest, here is a large building that's got our next kind of the dead eye target, the stone eagles up on the roof. So you can see I'm on the main road and you have a nice clear shot up onto the roof to take that out. So go ahead and destroy that statue with a bullet. All right, progressing on now we're going to kind of head west you'll probably have to kind of battle through some enemies and you know eventually to get here but we're kind of on the bridge over the river that is just south of the main compound that we're going into so that's the main compound that we have to go into later in the mission and we're on the bridge just south of that and there's a little nook to the left of the bridge okay so this is a good spot because if you just looked west from that you should be able to see the next dead eye target kind of sitting on a little perch up there All right, so continuing on in the western direction, we're going to continue west on the main road. Now we're in the kind of northwestern section of the map. You can see we're over here where the wine vineyards are. And the, you know, stone uh, eagle is pretty far away, but you got a pretty easy shot from here. And we're going to get a collectible from here as well. So from the road, if you're kind of looking in the direction that I showed you, you'll be able to see this kind of up on some chimney stacks on the buildings in the distance to the west of us. So go ahead and take that shot, destroy that statue, and that'll be actually our final dead eye target of this mission. So from the same location, again, we're on that main road. This is where we, you know, shot from. We're just going to head north up the road to this kind of building that is shaped like an L in the northwestern section up here. Our next workbench is in that building. So again, we're just going to head up there. You're actually going to have to go to the back side of this building. And if you go around the back side, there is a, a little climbable area on the wall that you can actually climb up into a hole in the roof. So there's some vines back here. Just climb up and you'll go through a hole in the roof. It's actually up here where the uh, next workbench is. So go ahead and interact with that. Uh, one of the duplicate classified documents is actually below us um, in this section. So now we're going to progress into the compound itself. So you can see I'm actually in the middle of the compound and we're basically going to be trying to go to Mueller's office and, you know, get some dirt on him. But I kind of cleared this out for East Stake to show you all the collectibles. So from the kind of central courtyard area, where we're going to head into is the west wing 
of the residence okay so we're gonna head into the west wing so go ahead and go up in here and we're gonna grab a lot of collectibles and I'm gonna kind of string it all together so from the west wing uh, just head to the northern side of it and eventually you're gonna come to this stairwell you know a circular stairwell that's got this kind of red velvet carpet along the stairs so that's what you're looking for head all the way to the top and when you get to the top now you'll be able to just take this path kind of through like an attic so to speak just go all the way to the end of this path and this is actually one of the ways that you can gain entry into Muller's office. There's also a duplicate um, intel this item on here. This is one of the classified documents, but again, it's a duplicate. We already Muller's collected one, you know, here. but if that's the one you want to get, sure. Uh, but anyway, if you bust the lock on this door, now you're going to be dropping into Muller's office, okay? So now just run around here. You're going to see a hole in the floor. That's going to allow us to drop in and then go in through a doorway into the, you know, into his kind of main office. Once we get in here, now right in front of you on the main desk is our next classified Hello. document that we need to get Time renovations to completed secret project get out of here a hidden room Mauler's one crafty bat. So the next classified documents that we're going to get are going to be in a secret room. And this is random. There's multiple objects in the room that you have to interact with. This statue, this lamp over here. There's a book. There's a globe. There's multiple options that you can interact with. And it's random which one will actually open the secret place. So there's not really a specific one you need to go to that will eventually open it. For me, in this playthrough, it was the book. And once I pulled the book out, now I, uh, the actual secret entrance uh, opened. So now now that that's open, go inside, and to the right-hand side, kind of on an end table, is our next classified document. Okay, Operation Kraken, let's see. Krieg's Marine. Also, within this kind of secret area, just underneath the portrait of himself on a dresser, is our next classified document. Japan. There's so many connections in the axis. There's more. All right, so again, we're going to kind of string all these together. So now we're going to get our next personal letter. So from this dresser where we got our classified document, we're going to go to our next personal letter. So exit the secret room, hang a left, go through this door. And once you come through that door, go right a little bit. And the first kind of door on your left is where you want to go. There's going to be a classified document right here, but that's one that you already got earlier. That's a duplicate one, uh, but you can you know still pick it if you want. But also in this room on the desk is our next personal letter he's stealing heirlooms getting them to the resistance first sounds like a better idea from that personal letter we're going to get our next personal letter by heading out of the room hang a right kind of going back the way we came except this time we're going to go left okay go just straight along this hallway when the floor turns to this blue color hang a left and go into these back rooms that's going to lead you to a bedroom on a trunk that's in front of the bed is our next personal letter interesting also right. in this room is our first Jesus. hidden item of the level. Just to the left of the bed, you'll see a portrait on the wall that you can interact with and move, which will reveal a safe that is behind it. Again, you can get these safe codes by, you know, uh, getting them from dead officers. Or if you don't have one, you can use a satchel chart to simply just blow it up. But once you open this, uh, you can recover the antique, which is the old man statuette. Uh, these are also part of the optional objective in this mission is to find all of the hidden items. So um, that's the first one. So moving on, we're going to get our next personal letter. So from that statuette, just head back out to the main hallway here. And we're going to kind of go back. So that's Muller's office to our right. So we're just going to kind of be going this way now. So just kind of follow the way that I'm taking. And we're going to kind of walk all the way along this path. And when you come to this area, hang a right so you can get to the kind of area with this red carpet. And again, just kind of follow it around. And eventually, you're going to get to this room that has large stairs. And again, those kind of blue and white marble looking walls. So head up to the top floor. And when you get to the top floor again you're just going to basically make your way along this path and i'll make it easy for you now i'll show you exactly where eventually i'm coming and where i'm going is kind of the you know area of the building that's kind of facing east to west and we're kind of up on the balcony so that's kind of where you eventually need to get okay and once you get up here if you head to the central portion you're going to go into the second door on the left as soon as you go in here hang a left into the first room and on our desk is going to be our next personal letter interesting I can certainly take advantage of this. Also within this room is going to be our second hidden item. It's going to be in this chest right here. You can either pick the lock or if you have some bolt cutters, you can just bang that open. Uh, but go ahead and open that crate and get your next antique as part of your optional objective as well as our collectibles.
All right, so once we've grabbed those items, now we're going to get our final workbench in the level. So go ahead and exit this room and just hang a right. So we're going to go back to the way we came. So just kind of follow this path all the way back to that large stairwell that had the kind of white marble and blue kind of marble tiles. This time, instead of, you know, stopping here, we're going to continue going all the way to the bottom. Once you get to the bottom floor, hang a right and you'll be able to go through this door, which will lead to the basement or the wine cellar of the residence. And you know you're down here when you kind of get to this room that has a large large amount of liquor barrels or wine barrels when you get down here hang a right you're going to eventually nice find an nazi armory area with some nazi flags camera. right beneath that is our next workbench So we finally collected everything in the compound itself, and now we're kind of back out in the courtyard. You can see we're kind of in the northeastern courtyard of the residence, okay? So you can see where I am on the map. It's very noticeable. You'll see this nice, you know, exquisite gazebo. To the right of that is a small tower. There's actually going to be a sniper in there. So you're going to have to kill him, and that's actually the person that is going to have our next collectible. So once you've taken him out in that tower, now you can climb up these vines to get into the window where he was in that little small tower. So climb up in there so now you can see that's the sniper that i killed so what you want to do is just search his body and that'll be our third hidden item of the level and our sixth hidden item one. overall should give these to the resistance so once you've collected that also in hands. this room where the sniper is is our final personal letter of the level which is going to be sitting right here on this trunk so go ahead and grab that and that's actually going to be the last collectible that we need in occupied residence so we finished the first two missions i hope you guys are enjoying this it's a pretty fun game i highly recommend you check it out i love the sniper elite series so hopefully you're enjoying it and i'll see you in part three